for 220 years, the old farmer's almanac. This isn't the old farmer's almanac here, but uh, it's, it, it, you know, it, it, has been, it has been a mainstay, which apparently is 80% accurate to forecast the weather for an entire year ahead. Jack Burnett uh, is here from the uh, farmer's almanac to tell us about the 2015 edition. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to be here. It's great. To, okay, let's get right to it. And this is the first question I bet you get asked all the time. What's this winter going to be like? And the last question, too, <laughs> is going to be, well, it's going to make last winter look like Miami Beach. Oh, great. And remember, I'm just the messenger. <laughs> it's going to be snowier. It's going to be colder. It's going to be winterier. -er. <laughs> You know, the amazing thing is, is that Environment Canada, NOAA in the States, they use billions, I might argue trillions of dollars worth of equipment to do forecasts. The Farmer's Almanac is, is still using the old tried and true ways, which we're finding sometimes are better than the trillions of dollars worth of equipment. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. We used a, a method that was actually developed in 1792 when we were founded, and uh, it takes into consideration three different things. One is meteorology, you know, as we know, local air masses, things like that. Second is climatology, which is long-term weather trends in an area. And the third is solar science, solar radiation, and how those interact. So we actually have literally, physically, the formula that was written down in 1792 in a strong box back in New Hampshire. So it's long since been converted into a computer algorithms. What we do is we look for patterns in the past uh, that resemble patterns in the future, right now. And then we go back and we say, taking into consideration those three things, wh what happened next? And then what did happen now? And that's kind of how we do it. Now, it's not just the weather. You say it's going to be a, a colder winter. It's going to be uh, summer, next summer? Better? Next summer, slightly warmer, slightly wetter. Nothing to worry about, though. Uh, it, it gives you the moon phases. Uh, it gives you tons of information, lots of information. And lots of interesting reading as well. Well, we try to do uh, something for everyone. One of the one of the cool things is that uh, in 1792, on the frontispiece, the first page of the Old Farmer's Almanac, um, you'll see, or you would see if you had it, that it said new, useful, and entertaining matter. And so you can see that in the 2015 edition, we have the same exact words in the same exact typeface yeah. in the same exact place on the page. So to, to, to us, tradition is important. Oh, That's one of the things. So one of the other things that the founder of the Old Farmer's Almanac, who was a guy named Thomas, uh, always said was that he wanted the Old Farmer's Almanac to be useful with a pleasant degree of humor. So we find that throughout the, off, the, throughout the almanac. As it turns out, that's the way my wife has ended up <laughs> describing me, useful with a pleasant but, but yes, we have gardening, we have cooking, we have great recipes, yeah. we have things about why the wind chills, you know, what the wind chill factor is. And actually, the wind, wind chill scale was developed right here in Toronto uh, in 2001. It was updated. I am in by no way putting this down when I say this is the perfect book to get and put in the bathroom. Well, you know, that's what the whole, if I may pick this up, you yeah. know, that's the old, that's the lore, that's what this was for. Really? The to whole hang, the top. To hang it. Yeah. To hang it. Yeah, yeah. Back in the old days, of course, because as, as I say, we've been around 223 years, so that was what it was there for. We actually spend a lot of money to put that hole in there. I think 10 years ago, it was something like 75,000 U.S. So we were, yeah, we, so we were wow. thinking, and it produces some astronomical number like, like, you know, 100 million little pieces of you know, of confetti when we do that, you know. But uh, uh, a few years ago, we decided to ask our, re our, our readers throughout North America, well, you know, can we get rid of the hole? And we heard, you know, we, we heard like from all across <laughs> Canada, we heard from people in the prairies, they said, we've hung them up out in our barn on a string and we, and we have like 10 years between each post, you know. And of course, the humidity in barns, you know, they, it expands, but yeah, that's, that's what it used to be. We also hear, you know, I hear from people uh, on, on, on call-in shows. They say, what they say is uh, that uh, they'll, what they'll often do is they'll get the old Farmer's Almanac Canadian Edition. They'll, they'll keep it on the kitchen counter, you know, on the coffee table. Yeah. Um, sometimes in the car if they're picking up kids at school. But they'll, what they'll do is they'll say, once a day for one minute, I'll, yeah. pick, I'll pick it up and I'll, I'll, I'll point to a page and I'll, I'll have a minute of relaxation. It's all good. Yeah. It is old-fashioned. You actually have to turn pages and, and, and read it, but definitely, definitely worth that read. Thank you very much for coming in. I appreciate it's a it. It's a pleasure. A lot more at almanac.com. All right. We'll uh, take a break on Breakfast Television. Be right back. Jack Burnett.